you guys. Today we're having chicken leek and bacon for dinner. That's what the picture looks like. And the book says a moist whole chicken braised on a bed of leeks and bacon and topped with a creamy tarragon sauce. Well, I think, well, the tarragon is fried. Still couldn't find fresh. Maybe the time of the year. I don't know. And I've got a different kind of, I don't know, the bacon thing is always a thing. What's the right bacon? So I got these bits of bacon. And so we're going to use those today and the whole chicken. So let's start. I am preheating my oven to 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit gas 4. So I have to heat some oil in a pan. A pan that can go into the oven. Sunflower oil. It says vegetable oil, so I think sunflower is a good. One, let me grip some. And then it says Add chicken and cook it breast side down for five minutes until golden. Remove from the casserole. Then dice the bacon and add to the casserole. Cook for four to five minutes until golden. So let's start with dicing my bacon. while the oil is heating up. Let me see. <laughs> let, I said, let me see in a moment. The cat walks in. And I, the thing is I can say, oh, she smells the bacon, but that's, that's not true because she'll beg for anything. Last evening I was just making some salad with some cucumbers and then she was begging for cucumbers and I always give her a smell of what I I'm cooking and she didn't want the cucumbers so but she's always curious But I was looking how much, it says 225 grams of bacon and my package is 400, so I'm going to use two and a half. <laughs> I'm dancing around the cats, so let me swirl this around. And then grab the chicken. I was talking to somebody the other day about cooking and I realized oh you can do it everywhere. That's not good. But I do I make this videos because I like making new things. But since doing this video I have used so much so many other kinds of ingredients I would never have thought of myself. And the video part is an extra. I like communicating. I'm, I, I like to think I'm a very social person. Um, but the fact that, that since I've made this video, there's been three times that I've roasted a whole chicken. So that's, uh, yeah. I don't know, a nice fact for myself. The chickens never come with any guts, gibberish, or what did the other recipe call it? Remove the guts. What? 
um, hands deep into a chicken. I don't know, I saw those. What, what could that be? Besides chicken. You want a piece of chicken? Do you want a piece of bacon? Well, this smells like it's hot enough. Right? I do only have to do the press side down here, so let's, I can show you on the other camera, I think. That, yeah. I'm sorry, but I have no idea why that was necessary. I have a feeling in the oven it would brown enough. Anyway. I need to put these to the side, and then it says... Dice the bacon and add to the casserole, so it's going to sizzle. Yeah. Sizzling is good. But right now, I think I'm going to. I have some leek, and I yeah, stop until the leeks, cut them in two and a half centimeter, one inch pieces, and add to the bacon. So the bacon. Cook for more Then it says pieces. I cut it in half to clean, so... I'm not going to get the tape measurements again. I'm going to do it... Okay. Maybe I didn't have two centimeter pieces. But for the leg, I don't really. I don't. Know. I don't really know. It's that. The worst thing with leg is they are cooked, overcooked. But even then. Yeah, and I. If I look at the picture, I know I have the wrong kind of bacon. So, I do apologize for that. I'm juggling my camera for a moment. Let's get that. A moment. I have another leaf that I'm going to cut up so that it can go here. If the bacon is ready, put the the leeks. Up until the leeks cut them into pieces. Add to the bacon, cook for five minutes until the leeks begin to brown. Mm 
but it looks, yeah. I'm going to open a window for a moment. <laughs> We have to wait. Everything. This is okay. I think I filmed them. I feel like I heard home cooking, guys. And in this home, we have a cat. Anyway, I'm going to let it cook for a moment. And still I'm happy. And I think I'm going to cut it up. It will take a few minutes. I like it. Yeah. I need to be, be a bit more golden. So. Let me show you a piece of the bacon. It's 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 round, and then I thought let's put up the leak in there because oh that's browning too. I thought I can come back and show you how I put leak in the pan, but yeah, I think that's not the most interesting. <laughs> Thing. The bigger pieces are done yet, but oh well, they need to go in the oven for one and a half hours. So put a chip on top of the bacon and leaves cover and put in the oven for one and a half hours. So uh, On top, Let's turn that one off. And the only thing is my lid handle. Yeah, that can go in the oven, right? You just took the pan, the really hot and heavy pan, out of the oven. You haven't taken a look yet. No idea what the chicken and the legs and the bacon look like. So let's let's do it. Let's go to the next part. Ooh, ooh, that looks that looks nice, different than I would than I expected. It looks better here than on on my camera. So where did I? How do I get it out of it? Way. Just two forks, I think I'm going to grab it. Oh, this, the chicken. That doesn't look that appetizing, that milk pork. Anyway, um. Put that to the side. Don't, doesn't look nice to eat. Yeah. Okay. The chicken is out of the pan. Oh, there are some. I think it's a bit too brown. The leek is nice and soft. And that's it smells strange, but in a good way. I don't, I don't know if it makes any sense.
Spend forever on a stupid task like getting all the bits out. But I think there's one piece, this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, skim the fat, but I'm, there isn't really any much fat to skim, I think. Pretty lean chicken. Went to the gym. Anyway. Pour the stock and cream and bring to the boil. Cook for four to five minutes until slightly reduced and thickened. So, yeah, in this case, I think I'm going to cut the video again for a moment because the five minutes until that is. But it's like, it's a bit syrupy. The chicken bones. I think did that. Anyway, I wanted to cut some nice pieces from the chicken and then it just fell off the bone. Look at how clean my bones. The bones are only the top bit. But yeah, it's just... So I've been pulling the chicken. That's how I always want to do it. Into pieces like the chicken and the bacon and leek. And I, I saved the skin. I think I'm going to crisp it up in the oven again because it's pretty soft because of all the juices. Anyway, let's finish the sauce. So, like I said, I only had. the dried. Saragon, dragon. So, I want to go heavy on that, I think. Yeah. It smells like tea. And then we need some salt and pepper, I think. We got seasoning. May only need. The thing is, oh, I needed to. Oops, I did it wrong. I needed to add the cream before the cooking. <laughs> Sorry. can boil together for a moment to be one whole sauce that's I'm going in with a whisk for a moment to see if everything is okay well this is getting to be on we can taste because Serve thick. Yeah. Serve chicken slices with bacon leaves and a little sauce. So, yeah. Let's do chicken. Um, the leek is so soft. And then. Mm. 
I think I want to taste the clarecon sauce by itself for a moment. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> it's really aromatic. So, I'm going to taste the nut. Chicken. I'm, I'm really curious what fresh tarragon will taste like in this right now. Oh, I like this. This sauce. And I think from the three whole chickens I've done so far, that this way is my favorite way. Just in the pan, the chicken falls off the bone. And it's so good. And it was pretty easy. Except for the heavy chicken in and out of the pan. <laughs> but for an evening dinner, if you have the day off, evening dinner, maybe Sunday dinner, I have no idea. But yeah, make this. Buy a whole chicken and make this because uh, this is a good, good, good recipe. A pretty tasty curse. I have no idea what I... It is exactly what you expect. Chicken, leek, bacon. Well, if you don't know what tarragon tastes like, then that's a surprise. It was for me because, I don't know, I used it in a, another recipe, but I think I didn't add enough last time. Because I did not expect this flavor. But I like it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. A whole new recipe done. We're getting through the book. I think it was 23 of 35. So 12 more. I'm happy. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.